What's up, y'all? This is Josh Berkman. This is uh, BJ Penn All Access, Road to the Title for World Series of Fighting 6, Josh Berkman versus Steve Carl. I'll uh, start filming and get some other aspects of my training in this coming week. Um, showed you guys a little bit of what we do at Pit Elevated, a little bit of Absolute, and uh, I got a few more other places that I train that I'll uh, show you guys. This is the road, to the road to the Title with Josh Burton. <laughs> BJPenn.com, what's up? This is Josh Berkman. It's the first day of my video blog for you guys. And I'm about to walk into Absolute and do some training. This is my instructor right here, Robert Hanley. Rob, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? This is, this is BJPenn.com, this is my video blog. Oh, nice. Come this first day. Awesome. What are we about to do? Put my gear on backwards. We're doing arm lock escapes. Wednesday, Arm lock escapes from uh, from the guard, uh, which I bet probably everybody uh, in the country is doing this last week or week and a half after watching uh, uh, Ben Henderson and uh, Anthony Pettit. Right. Or Anthony Pettit. Sorry. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So arm lock escapes from the guard. Rob's got a black belt. I'm still working on my white belt. He won't promote me. <laughs> but, it's, but it's a dirty white belt. How many it's years? pretty dirty. We've been working on this white belt for seven years. Long time. Alright, let's get to work. We're pit elevated. We just got done training. This is uh, my blog for BJPen.com. I got some familiar faces around here. We got Ramsey, Nijem. Oh hey, <laughs> how are you, Ramsey? I am grand. Thank you for asking. So Ramsey's Ramsey's <laughs> meditating. Well, my after practice meditation. Mm. We got Siler. We've got a fight coming up with who? November six. Dennis Bermudez. Yes, sir. You gonna start training finally? No. <laughs> yeah. I got some ice cream at home to eat. Okay. Brock Jardine. Hey Brock. How are you? Not bad. What, Not are, you bad. Up, what are you up to? I'm just reading about this uh, Dennis Bermudez is gonna beat up Steve Siler. Beat up who? Uh, no, 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 not yeah, I me. Mean. No, actually, all the websites have silver. Steven I agree. Silver. I agree. I think. What well, you got coming up, Ramsey? <laughs> I just got. Uh, I'm gonna go watch my homeboy Dennis Bermudez beat up uh, <laughs> Steve Siler. It's okay because my boy Miles Jury's fighting this weekend. Oh, oh we gotta go there. <laughs> Jan, Jan Jorgensen, I defeated heavyweight. Got a fight coming up in Showdown. Who are you fighting? Eric Smith. Eric Smith. Oh, really? Yeah, boy. Even though I'm thinking about Eric Smith, I'm still thinking about how Steven Siler is going to get beat up. Damn it. <laughs> what do you think about that? It's Steve? unanimous decision. I lost. <laughs> hey, he made the final. Unless you have the Mayweather judge. Yeah. No, no, I don't even have to do anything. She'll go my way. <laughs> These guys over here. Shantae's fighting. Just got done rounds. Pit elevated. So, I'm going to let you guys in on a secret. Okay. And my secret to my stand-up is my Muay Thai coach. His name is Kwame. And I haven't told very many people about him. And I'm not going to tell you guys that much about him. But this is a big reason my stand-up has improved over the last few years. What's up, Kwame? What's up, brother? How are you? Feeling positive. Yeah, what are we going to do today? Um, we're going to work on footwork, inside weapons, and then also counterbalancing my opponent. And taking them out. Perfect. It's good. I'm gonna let you guys watch a little sparring. Or no, not a. You don't get to watch no sparring <laughs> because Steve Carl is probably trying to watch this. But I am gonna let you watch a little mitts. Ready to spar. 
I just got done hitting mitts with Kwame. Ramsey just showed up, said he's been drinking beer and <laughs> eating wings. And it's not sitting right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gearing up, get ready to punch each other in the face, huh? Clay's got a big fight coming up against Justin Buckles. Ollie's got one. Jason's got one. But no watching sparring. What's up? It's Wednesday night. Uh, September 18th, and uh, we're about five weeks out from this fight with Steve Carl, October 26th. Um, this is how I wind down my nights. It's usually my wife puts our little boy to bed. I come in the living room, mark off my uh, my countdown chart, and you know we got 38 days left. Um, you know I usually I usually start this about nine weeks out to help just keep me focused and very aware of when the fight is. This fight I started a. Uh, 12 weeks out. Um, it's a little bit longer fight, and um, you know. But besides that, I don't really change much about my training camp. I also get in my journal, write about my training, write about things that I might need to work on or might need to do, or in, in preparation for my opponent. Um, you know, and that's I, I do the uh, I do the week Sunday through Saturday. Sunday is always a day of rest, and then I just mark my training and circle my workouts. And I've done that for last. 10 years. Um, I got journals, 10, 15 journals of, of fights. This journal was started at the first of this year. It's got my fight with and my training camp with uh, Gerald Harris in it, Aaron Simpson, John Fitch, and now Steve Carl. And again, these are things I do just to help me stay focused, and I really believe that, you know, that's what you have to do to, to be the best.